Hello everybody, back here, Bullion here. Welcome, one and all, to my uh, graphite stack. No other way to describe it than a graphite stack. I've talked a lot about silver stacking and gold stacking here on my YouTube channel, but today I've got something a little bit different. It's a graphite stack, and of course what I mean by that is my collection of graphite moulds here for the Backyard Bullion hand poured silver repertoire. Uh, I thought I'd give you a kind of grand tour of it all to share with you what kind of pieces we've gotten made in the past and also what is available should you so wish to buy something or commission a piece. Uh, we've got a whole different array of moulds in here and I'm going to give you as best a tour I can as possible. Um, but if there's something in here that catches your fancy that isn't currently listed on my website, for example, then please feel free to get in touch. Of course, I can do a uh, pause to order. Uh, and also, some of these moulds have been very kindly donated by people uh, out there. Because, And I'll talk about this as I go along as well. You know, if you're having moulds made, if you're having custom-made moulds, it takes a lot of time and energy and, of course, money. And sometimes, you know, it can be a couple of hundred pounds for a complicated mould. Uh, and it can be... Uh, obviously quite a big investment for somebody like me to make something that you're not necessarily going to see a return on. And some people, for example, this four-finger Kit Kat bar was commissioned by uh, a you know member of the YouTube community and he had some pieces made out of it, but he very kindly donated the cost of the mould to my kind of uh, to my business and my stack. So if there's something out there that you've got in the back of your mind, a really great idea for a mould, uh, and you want to support my channel as well, please feel free to get in touch and we can discuss uh, the uh, the costs around making certain pieces and moulds and things like that. And of course, as always, if you are interested in supporting the channel and everything that I do in my hand poured silver business, then please go over to my website, backyardbullion.com, and consider purchasing any of my hand poured silver. So I wanted to do this video today because we've got this huge box, and as you can see, it's pretty much overflowing now. You can play a little bit of uh, graphite mould Tetris, as I like to call it. Mrs. Backyard Balloon and I play quite a lot of graphite mould Tetris to get as many of these in the box as possible. But we are definitely overflowing because usually these three moulds sit on top outside of it. And I've just ordered a bunch of new moulds in from my mould maker in the USA, GNG Machine Works. If you haven't checked them out and you're a sort of budding silver pourer who wants a good supplier for moulds, go and check him out. The link's down in the description below. Uh, but I've got a couple of really cool pieces coming in the near future, which I'm sure that you will all like. Um, so yeah, thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of it before I have to get a second box and fill up the box, and, uh, and no doubt I'll fill up that second box fairly quickly as well. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like these. You know, it's a nice way to look back as well and see where I've come from as a silver pourer because. Uh, we've got quite a lot of different moulds in here, some which are new, some which are very old that I've had all the way back from when I got started. In fact, uh, let's try and find some. So, yeah, I think these... So I've got two of these. I bought two of them by accident uh, all the way back when I got started. Um, oh, and here it is as well, the small uh, mould. And this is probably the, the sort of first top tip I guess I could give for you guys today. Uh, when I bought these moulds, so this was the very first mould I bought off eBay, I think it was like five, six quid. Um, all of the graphite moulds that you'll see kind of on eBay and various other places are listed as to their capacity and weight that they can hold, but in gold, which is obviously, you know, people pour gold, but it's not a common by any stretch as pouring silver. Uh, so this mould here is a three in one mould and it had what I thought was a, a two, a one and a half ounce mould. And I thought, well, that would be perfect for me getting started. I'll pour some one ounce bars, uh, sorry, some two ounce bars, some one ounce bars and a half ounce bar. Uh, of course it came and the, you know, it's really small and gold being twice as dense as silver, you know, you can barely fit an ounce of silver in this half an ounce in there and a quarter ounce in there. So whilst I used this a little bit and got some uh, pieces out of it, it was a bloody pig to pour, let me tell you. And uh, that's my first top tip. Always kind of do your maths, basically half whatever the mould says. So these were five ounce moulds and these were what I was thinking was going to be the kind of biggest piece that I would ever pour. And of course, it's got a capacity of about two and a half ounces. So, um, you know, I do get use out of these moulds, definitely. These are the moulds I use for the 100 gram bars. If you fill them up just over the lip, it's perfect to 100 grams. But uh, there you go, a little top tip. Always work in uh, weight of silver, not weight of gold. Um, so yeah, we've got a huge amount in here. And, you know, graphite moulds are not the cheapest things in the world. Certainly for us over here in the UK. Uh, over in the USA, it's a lot cheaper because you don't have to pay shipping and import taxes. And there's really no one in the UK that makes uh, these kind of complex moulds. So these bigger moulds, which I've got here, uh, which I'll share with you guys first. So... These three I had made from, uh, in fact, the supplier that I bought my kiln from, Technical Supermarket, and they've got basic uh, machining capabilities to make simple shapes and things, so they've made these, and you'll see this mould in action tomorrow. I'm going to attempt, after I've in fact finished filming this video, to film a record-breaking pour. I'm going to try and do the heaviest pour that I've done to date, which is hopefully going to be 
between 13 and 15 ounces. I don't know exactly, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so you can buy certain molds in the UK, but even these, uh, this size will be costing 40, 50 pounds each plus shipping. Um, so, you know, it's not a cheap thing, especially when you're buying three, four of them at a time. Uh, but, you know, molds like this, uh, the, the sort of ones with the Aztec designs or the Celtic designs, these ones will have been from Parts for Less 1999 over on eBay. And I'm going to put a lot of links down in the description below, but, you know, these molds are really high quality stuff. Uh, you can see that there's different tones of the graphite, and I think that's just the different types of graphite blocks that he's worked off. Uh, these ones are slightly older, they've been used more, they've been heated up more, so you can see that they're sort of slightly discoloured, maybe even starting to slightly degrade from the heat that's been put into them uh, over time. Um, this one obviously not quite so much, but still being used a fair amount. And uh, in fact, what I've got over here, if I can find the two to this, because I've got two of these pirate molds, because, yeah, here we go. So, Parts for Less 1999 uh, very generously sent me a free mold, and he didn't know that I already had the pirate mold, um, and he sent me a brand new pirate round. Obviously, we've got the old one here, and you can see the difference. This one is the one that I've been using predominantly, and I'm going to obviously keep using it until the detail really doesn't show up particularly well. Uh, but they do have a shelf life, and, um, you know, it's something you've got to factor in, of course, when you're, uh, you know, you're buying molds and pouring molds all the time. So yeah, those those are kind of cool. Uh, but as I said, in the UK, it's really difficult to find anybody with the skills uh, and the machinery to kind of machine engineer these types of molds. We've got the dragon mold there. Um, we've got more dragons in here as well. Some of these are secondhand, which I bought off uh, silver pourers within the UK. Got a Kit Kat mold there. Um, these bigger ones, so the big round ones up here, these are all predominantly, if I can get them into focus, these are predominantly all from uh, GNG Machine Works, who I gave a shout out at the start of this video. Uh, he did a fantastic job on these, and some of these were custom made molds which have been donated. So these uh, pyramids, uh, you know, this big Aztec pyramid was um, kindly donated by. A, uh, a member of the silver community and you know what we actually did with this mold and what we continue to do with this mold is we have a kind of agreement a gentleman's agreement whereby uh, when I sell a piece out of this mold I will give him a little bit of a kickback as a thank you uh, so if you guys are interested in that kind of arrangement obviously please let me know I'd be more than happy to put something together uh, so that you can help sponsor basically sponsoring a mold so you get some of the, uh, the kickback when we actually pour a piece from it and sell it because uh, you know these big ones will cost 150, 200 quid with postage, and of course, import duty. That's the other thing, crikey, that I have to pay with. The uh, the tax man here in the UK likes to get his dues, and of course, when we're buying things outside of the EU, bringing it into the UK, we have to pay duty. And if, there's an absolute rip off on this as well. Uh, by the way, here's my one of my favourite all-time molds. This is probably one of the molds which catapulted my kind of brand forwards, the custom-made hearts and. It's a continuing favourite uh, of people. Um, but the tax man always wants to get their dues in the UK here, and uh, there's the biggest rip-off of all time, which is in the UK... Uh, by the way, this is... I'm gonna get, I will get to this story eventually, trust me. But this is probably my least favourite mould. It's my failed uh, mould. I bought this for like 40, 50 quid. Haven't sold a single piece from it. I've still got a couple of them listed with Canadian Silver Saver. So if you're interested in a ripple nipple, as I call them, then go over to canadiansilversaver.com. Uh, and have a look. But anyway, back to my story. The, the biggest rip-off of all time is that when you get hit with a customs charge here in the UK, uh, the Royal Mail is usually the one that's been, um, you know, deemed with the postage of your items. So they get in touch with you and say you need to pay a customs charge. And then they charge you an £8 admin fee, even if you've got just one penny to pay as a customs duty. They, they charge you £8 in sort of admin charges to process your customs charge. And you don't have a choice with it because they just take it and they just do it. So uh, it's a proper rip-off and it can be a right nightmare. So, you know, it is what it is. It's the cost of doing business here in the UK. That's, uh, that's part of uh, the game, but um, ultimately it still adds up to the cost of these moulds. So I hope you guys can appreciate what I have to go through. Uh, so wherever I can, I like to get moulds from the UK. And I think this is a perfect place to do a shout out for the one, the only fossil metals. So you guys have probably seen this leaf mould before, but he hand carved this leaf mould. Some serious skills to do that. And as well, he hand carved this star. And this was the kind of prototype which I wanted to, to make. And then of course we had a proper deep uh, 3D star machine made by GNG Machine Works. But you know, fossil quality guy, I'm sure if you ask him, he might be able to help you with simple moulds that you, if you might want to get out there as well. 
But uh, yeah, so there are other moulds in here. Let's quickly get all of the rest of them out so that we can have a good old look at them in all their glory before we run out of time today. Obviously, you've got small hearts, small bars. This is this mould's probably been the most used mould that I've used throughout my entire time silver pouring. This is the one ounce silver four and bars mould. It's probably had something like seven or eight hundred bars poured through it over the course of two years. We've got 400 completed bars, all of the backyard bullion bars as well, and then all of the ones which go unspoiled or spoiled as well. Um, new moulds here. Some of these you haven't probably seen yet on the channel. This is a nice little chunky bar mould. That's hopefully when I get some pieces back from hallmarking going to be shown there. Nice square mould there. Little baby hexagons. I really do like the small pieces, the small hexagons and small squares and things like that. Uh, we've got some of the cubes. Some of them you can get in sort of double style moulds and I do like it when you get that because often they're roughly the same price. You know, it takes pretty much the same time to make them and you can get you know two for ones. Or like here, uh, I had this grand plan, I got seven for one mould and I was going to do a whole set of different hemispheres um, but they weren't necessarily that great as sellers. I, I really like a little hemisphere and circular moulds but that one didn't really come up. Then we've got a little tiny uh, sort of round there and then we've got a spiral. Some of these, as I said, were second hand. This is a new one from Parts for Less 1999, a moon and stars bar. You'll see that when I get the pieces back from hallmarking. And then the giant hearts and sort of a split heart and got sort of the broken heart style thing there as well so you can have two hearts and they match together which look really very cool indeed and then the last piece I've saved this one specifically for last because I'm going to give all of you out there who are hardcore viewers of my channel a very quick sneak peek of some things to come I think that's probably all I'm going to show maybe I'll just surreptitiously do that very quickly that's a sneak peek for the future. If you want to find out more about that, make sure you hit subscribe on my YouTube channel because there's some very special things coming in the future for the Backyard Bullion Handful Silver brand. But enough of that for now. If you liked this video, if you liked everything that I'm doing here, I'm going to now put all these back in here and play Graphite Mold Tetris for the next hour. Uh, if you like this channel, if you like the content that I'm putting out there, please put a thumbs up on it and please subscribe to my channel and please hit that notification bell. It's really important because you'll then get a notification when I upload future videos. If you want to see me try and do a record-breaking pour tomorrow in this great big mould, hit the subscribe button. Catch you tomorrow. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the weekend and uh, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.